Hey everyone, I'm Sonia, content marketer with the Daplooker team. Today I'm here to take you through the steps to register subquery project and build charts and dashboard. But before that, let's understand our partner subquery network as well as the subquery Daplooker integration benefits. So subquery is a blockchain developer toolkit that forms the backbone of Web3 infrastructure, which allows developers to build complex and intuitive applications faster by making the world's decentralized data more accessible. The subquery Daplooka integration is certainly well exploited as Daplooka aims to empower Polkadot projects with beautiful and easy to build analytic tools. Users can run SQL queries on subquery data and build explorers, charts, and dashboards. These valuable metrics are built on top of the subquery projects, thus helping fetch the required data and present it to its audience in an intuitive and aesthetic format. The information and dashboards can also be shared with the team or with the community. So now let me take you through the steps for registration of subquery project. For that, first you need to log in to our uh, website, Daplooka. And uh, then let's go to my projects, connect the project, connect to subquery project. And like, as you can see, uh, you have some details that need to be filled to register. So let's first put our project name and let's uh, select it as uh, polkadot auctions and crowd loans the subquery network is auto filled uh, now for the subquery endpoint you can uh, search the subquery project based on name or uh, api endpoint so i am going to put the name as polkadot auction yeah so i've got it uh, the polkadot auctions and crowd loans and then you enter your website as a subquery network. Once you've filled all the details, you can click to upload your logo and then uh, register. Uh, uh, you can also see that uh, since the project is already indexed, it allows you to visit the index data directly. So uh, let's go to the view index data. So you see a lot of index tabs of Polkadot auctions and crowd loans. Uh, let's have a look at the Polkadot uh, parachains as well as the contributions. First, let's go to the contributions. So I click on the contributions. I see a lot of metrics over here. You can see a lot of data of node ID, the account, the, uh, the parachain ID, all the details are there. So I want to summarize. Uh, I pick a column to group by and uh, pick now pick the metric you want to see. I want to see the count of rows and you just simply click on visualize. So my entire data is now presented in this format. Now what if I don't uh, uh, want it in this format and I want to see it in a bar chart or an area chart. So just simply go to visualization and there are endless options over here. Now I want to see the same data in a bar chart form. So I simply click at bar chart and then here I get the data in the desired format I want. It's as simple as that and then you just click done. Now uh, there are also a lot of chart creation uh, using Polkadot auction crowd loan index. So uh, We'll, let's take you to one of them. Uh, so go to browse data and uh, we're interested in the Polkadot auctions and crowd loans. And now this, now let's have a look at the Polkadot parachains. And the entire crowd loan data, you, could, you can see the description, the website, the names, the icons, uh, the entire data is there. Besides this, there's also a popular subquery dashboard on Daplooka. Uh, how about having a look at that as well? So let's go to my projects. And uh, the Dap Explorer will take you 
to the subquery network and polka.auctions and cloudlet so this will take you to the polka.auctions contributors retention dashboard uh, now these are all the metrics which are summarized so the total contribution the unique contributors the repeat contributors all at one place so you can see the data of weekly cohort analysis on contributions as well as the monthly cohort analysis on contributions even the monthly cohort analysis on contributed amount is also there and uh, now the data can also be seen in a very interesting way that is a funnel shape analysis on contribution so here we have that as well and uh, the contributors count the polka dot daily contributions everything all the data on one dashboard isn't that good so i hope uh, you found this uh, video very useful and informative please feel free to join our discord or telegram for any further queries